now we have moved to the step which is the reordering merchandise now you have received the stock you have stocked the stock in your warehouse and now there are there are points which is related to the reordering because the retailer has to decide when you are going to reorder for this particular product what system will decide how much quantity you are going to order at what time you are going to order so there are four critical points there are four pain points or four main points which normally you are going to discuss first of all is the order and delivery time so what would be the order time even what would be the ordering days and what would be the delivery time and delivery days normally at the time of the contract once you are going to negotiate for this contract you discuss that for example monday tuesday and wednesday i am going to deliver these products or monday tuesday wednesday maybe i am you are going to receive these products or you are going to deliver these products so ordering days delivery days order time delivery time everything is been shared uh, with the uh, retailer by the supplier so it is discussed in the agreement it is negotiated uh, normally in the agreement and the best part is the best part for the retailer is that a supplier can deliver 6 days a week uh, whenever is required as small quantity as you can so it is easily uh, discussable but of course the supplier has some constraint about the cost so he is going to manage not only one retailer he is going to manage the whole industry or whole uh, customers whole set of customers which a supplier is carrying so the so second part uh, second critical point is about the inventory turnover so the retailer normally discuss with the uh, the, uh, the supplier the inventory turnover so how fast the goods can be turned out how much is the rotation of the goods into the store if it is about the bakery items of course the rotation would be very high if you talk about the refrigerator of course the 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 uh, rotation of this product the inventory turnover of these uh, such products are normally less so again on the basis of the product turnover on the rotation of the goods it is decided that what would be the ordering uh, level at what quantity you will order and when you are going to order about it and then third part third critical factor is about the financial expenditures financial outlays financial expenses so what are the how how much a retailer has to pay for the inventory and for the transportation or for other things so what are the expenditures associated to it what are the expenses financial outlays associated to it so if it is agreed together healthy for the retailer of course the retailer i'm um, will be going to say uh, to, to do the decisions which is in the favor for uh, both the retailer and the uh, supplier and then inventory versus ordering cost so normally a retailer make comparison of two things if he orders the inventory and keeps the goods with him so what would be the inventory cost and for example what would be the transportation cost it is viable to order every time or it is better to keep the products again it depends on the the point we discussed earlier if you are going to keep for example if it is fresh products so you have to see the products are coming from which distance if the products is available from the nearby areas it is best to buy fresh products every day or maybe twice a day but for example if you are going to buy some fruits or some leafy vegetables and they are coming from maybe some other country of course in this scenario you have to keep into consideration the lead time which is the main parameter so for this lead time you need to see that either i have to maintain inventory for this lead time of course you have to as a retailer and on the other side what would be the ordering cost if i maintain a warehouse locally here so what would be the ordering cost of uh, placing this order to the, the to the supplier so reordering my merchandise mechanism uh, reordering about the merchandise mechanism has to be clearly defined because you are going to order of course for the second time and then this will depends the whole cycle of your store is depends on your reordering level and the main parameters in this reordering level as just discussed with you it was about starting from the order time about the delivery time about the order date about the delivery date about the inventory cost about the inventory turnover about the financial outlays so they are all included and discussed in the agreements and the the, the re objective of the retailer is to win all these points in the favor of retailer